I've got here a pretty foundational example of a circle in the XY plane SAT practice problem. I'm given a circle. I'm told where the center is. So the center is at 2, negative 2. I'm told that the radius is length 6. And then I'm required to come up with the equation for the circle. Now we're not actually going to solve this problem right now, but I want you to notice the general pattern of what we need in order to be able to solve it. They're giving us some information. They're saying there's some circle, some circle in the xy plane. It has some sort of center. It looks like in this case it's at 2, negative 2. It has some sort of radius. Maybe it says length 6. And we need to come up with an equation that describes all the points on this particular circle. So let's think about how we might do that by starting with a really simple example. Suppose I'm dealing with a circle, and the circle has a center, a center at 1, 1, and has a radius of just 2. Then if I were to sketch this circle on the xy plane, it would look something like this. It would have a center at the point 1, 1, so right about there would be the center, and we're told that the radius has length 2. So we could sketch it very roughly just by saying maybe that's length 2 and, and drawing like that. But to be a little bit more accurate, let's go ahead and actually draw a radius of length 2 that goes horizontally out of here. So I go over 1, 2 units, and this point here would be at 3, 1. And then maybe let's draw another one. If I go straight up 2 units, 1, 2, this would be at 1, 3. So this gives me a relatively accurate idea of what the circle is going to look like, and I can kind of trace it out from here. Overall, that's roughly what the circle will look like. Now it turns out there's a particular pattern we can follow to find the equation of this circle. All we have to do is we take the coordinates of the center, so that's 1, 1, and we do x minus the x coordinate of the center, quantity squared, plus y minus the y coordinate of the center, quantity squared, and we set that equal to the radius squared. And remember, the radius is 2, so that'd be 2 squared. So notice the pattern here. It's x minus the x coordinate of the center, y minus the y coordinate of the center, and then on the other side here, you have the radius squared. So I'm claiming this equation is going to work, but let's, let's test it quick, because remember, if, if this really is the equation for the circle, then any point I pick on the circle, any point that lies on the circle, xy coordinate pair, needs to satisfy this equation. And conversely, any xy coordinate pair that satisfies this equation needs to actually lie on the circle. So let's pick a few points, like 3, 1. We already pointed, we already plotted that point that's right there on the circle. If I plug in x equals 3 here, let's see, 3 minus 1, quantity squared, and I plug in y equals 1, so plus 1 minus 1, quantity squared, is it going to equal 2 squared? That's the question, right? And the answer is yes, because 3 minus 1 is just going to be 2. So that'll be 2 squared plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 squared is indeed equal to 2 squared. So you see this, this point worked. We just kind of picked a random point, 3, 1, and it worked fine with this equation. And you'd find if you plugged in this point, 1, 3, it would work fine as well. In fact, any point that you pick, any x, y pair that lies on this circle is going to satisfy this equation of the circle. So let's just go ahead and put down the general form of this equation. In general, if I have any circle and it's centered at x coordinate a and y coordinate b, and it has a radius of length r, then the equation of the circle is going to be x minus a quantity squared plus y minus b quantity squared is equal to r squared. So any point x, y that lies on this circle centered at a, b and with radius r is going to satisfy this equation. So this is a key fact. This is a key fact that you want to make sure you memorize. It's the general form of the equation of a circle in the xy plane. Now you might be wondering where this equation comes from, and the answer is that it actually comes from the Pythagorean equation. And that's, it's not required that you know this for the SAT, but it's actually quite nice and it will probably help you memorize this equation. So I'm just gonna go over it very briefly. Let's suppose again that I have a circle in the xy plane, and I'm gonna go ahead and center that circle at a comma b again, so a comma b. 
and then it is going to have a radius of r. Now, we know that it's supposed to be the case that the equation of this guy is x minus a quantity squared plus y minus b quantity squared equals r squared. But why is that true? Well, it has to do with drawing in a little right triangle. So let's say that I take away this r again, and I have you just pick up a, a random xy pair. Like, let's say you pick this xy pair that lies on the circle. Or maybe you'll pick this xy pair, a different one that lies on the circle. So let's say you just pick, pick a random point, right? I'll pick one maybe in the center of those two. So let's say I pick this point right here x comma y. I want to prove to you that it actually fits with this equation. How do I do it? Well, first I draw in the radius from the center to that point. I know that that radius has length r. Okay. Next, I draw in a little right triangle. So I draw in a little right triangle here that sort of takes me from this point a comma b. I go over to the right and all the way up to get to this point x comma y. Now think about the lengths of these sides of this right triangle. This side here, I need. I start at x-coordinate a, and I move to the right all the way to x-coordinate x. So the distance that I travel going from a to x is actually going to be the value x minus a. If you think about it, that's going to be the length. x minus a is going to be the length of this side of the triangle. What do you think will be the length of this side? Well, it's the upper direction that we have to go. It's at the upper distance we have to cover, which is going to be y up here minus the y-coordinate of our starting point. So this guy is going to be y minus b. That's the length of that side. Then according to the Pythagorean theorem, because we're dealing with a right triangle here, we just need to say that this side, x minus a squared, plus this side, y minus b squared, equals the length of the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse, which is r squared. So we can conclude exactly this equation. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared equals r squared. So that's actually a rough sketch of the proof that lies behind this equation for a circle in the xy plane. Now if you're armed with this equation and ready to sketch a couple of circles in the xy plane, you should be able to tackle pretty much uh, at least the majority of the problems of the circle in the xy plane type that show up on the SAT. Here's a fairly typical example of a medium to hard difficulty problem. It says, which of the following is an equation of a circle in the xy plane with center negative 3, 0 and a radius with endpoint 0, 3? So they're describing some sort of circle in the xy plane, and they're giving me the center straight up for free, so I'll put that down. It's negative 3, 0, so 1, 2, 3 to the right, negative 3, 0, that's the center. And then it tells me that one of the radii, so one of the things coming out of this center, one of the radii actually has an endpoint at 0, 3. So x equals 0, y equals 1, 2, 3. All right, there we go, 0, 3. I have a radius that goes from the center and then ends right at that point. That's one of the radii of the circle. And I need to come up with an equation for this circle. Well, just off the bat, I can actually look at the answers a little bit and say, well, I know that the, the center is at negative 3, 0. So according to my formula here, it would be x minus negative 3 squared plus y minus 0 squared is going to equal r squared. So I could almost kind of get started here. There's going to be a double negative there. So that's probably going to be x plus 3 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals r squared. And I can kind of see from the answers that it's probably not going to be a, it's probably not going to be d. So I'm betting on one of these middle two. But I do have a bit of an issue, which is I don't know what the radius, what the length of the radius is. You know, if I were to draw in this, this circle a little bit here, sorry, that's not a very pretty circle, but this is a rough idea. I know that there's some sort of radius here. Okay, the, the radius has some sort of length, but I don't quite know what r squared should be over here. So is it 3 root 2 or is it 18? But I can pretty easily find the answer using one of two methods. One thing I can do is I can realize, hey, 0, 3, that lies on the circle. This point 0, 3 lies on the circle. So if this is going to be the equation of the circle, when I plug in x equals 0 and I plug in y equals 3, I should get the value of r squared. Right? And that's actually one valid way that we could do the problem. My personal preference, though, is to think about it geometrically. I think this is the radius r. All I need to do is find the length of r, or in any case, to find r squared. And I can do that by drawing in a little right triangle. 
just like we did a minute ago. So I draw in these two sides. What's the length of this side? Uh, one, two, three. So that's three. And then the length of this is also three. So if I want to find the r squared, I can just use the Pythagorean theorem again. Three squared plus three squared needs to equal r squared. All right. So that's nine plus nine, which is 18, needs to equal r squared. So that gives me the answer. And if you're curious if the other technique I mentioned would get us the same answer, it does. If you were just to plug in 0, 3, 0 for x, 3 for y, after all this point lies on the circle. So you would get 0 plus 3 quantity squared plus 3 minus 0 quantity squared equals r squared. And this is going to come down to the same thing, 3 squared plus 3 squared equals r squared. So plugging in this point 0, 3 to find the value of r gets you the exact same thing. In summary then, you can do this kind of a problem by just using the information they give you about the circle, usually you'll have to draw a picture of it, but using the information they give you about the circle to figure out where are the center, where's the center, in this case it was at negative 3, 0, what's the length of the radius, in this case it was the square root of 18, and then basically just plugging that in to the formula that we have up here, where we know we just need to do x minus the x coordinate of the center squared plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center squared equals the radius squared, and you're going to have the equation.